to um, allow for the Arab the nations around uh, more maneuverability and be less susceptible to uh, Abbas's uh, extortion uh, on holding back the uh, regional uh, development of the diplomatic process. Um, I think Abbas actually has relatively little uh, influence on the Arab uh, states. Um, I don't think they reckon much with his uh, opinion at all. And also, I think it's a big mistake for Israel to make uh, long-term plans on the uh, existence of Abbas. Because Abbas is an old man, he's not going to be around for long. And the only real question is, what's going to be, uh, what's going to be next? And I think it's a big mistake to separate the Palestinians from the rest of the Arab world. Uh, a mistake because it's not separate, and also because the first article of the Paris Palestinian National Charter said we are part of the Arab world. And so you have to look at the currents blowing through the Arab world. One used to be very fairly confident that they would have a secular nationalist government, because that was the flavor du jour, because that's what the Soviet Union uh, supported. And when they took people, uh, when they took a, a bus to Patrice Lumumba University, that's what they educated uh, them, uh, uh, them in. Uh, you know, an anti-Western, but at least a, a secular uh, and fairly stable uh, nationalist uh, government. Those are not the winds that are blowing, uh, that are blowing now. Um, so, again, when we're talking about peace processes, when we're talking about long-term plans, I just want to return to one of the first points I made. In 2009, all the wise men were saying, let's give the Golan Heights to Assad. Because he's not such a bad guy. His father gassed a lot of people, but he hadn't gassed anyone yet that you know we knew we knew of. And he's a um, doctor. He's a doctor. There's also uh, this is uh, this is there's a disease of, uh, of international relations PhDs. Too much information is dangerous. They said, oh, but he's a, he's an Alawite, and that's really not a Shiite. So really, there's differences. But of course, they're not allied with Iran because Alawites are more like Shiites than Western Sunnis. They're allied with Iran because uh, Iran will continue to provide them with ingredients for chemical weapons uh, even after they gas people. That, that's a fundamental basis for, uh, uh, for uh, an alliance. And the world changed in a way that nobody expected. But nobody expected uh, the current collapse of, uh, of, of Syria. Uh, no one, uh, and imagine right, if the Golan Heights had been given away before that, it would be a bad situation. So for example, right now, but right now we're on notice. Right? We don't have a young new British educated doctor in charge of the Palestinian Authority that one could maybe be hopeful. I was never hopeful because I assumed that the Ba'ath Council would not allow someone to, to uh, succeed Hafez al-Assad without really like, you know, vetting him and asking him all the important job qualification questions like, there is a rebellion. Well, do, you, do you gas the people to demoralize the population, or do you just try to beat the military? So there, there was no reason to think that the generals in charge didn't know what they were doing when they let him come in and run the country. But, well, but Abbas, it's a totally different question. We know he is not the deliverer of tomorrow. Right? We know, uh, it's very funny, because one of Abbas's reasons for not uh, agreeing to Olmert's pr uh, proposal Omar was a uh, no. Uh, Omar was a lame, lame duck. Uh, but he was a lame duck within a democratic region. He was, he was still the prime minister. He could make a deal. There were going to be elections. So it's true that they're not, you know there aren't really. We, we can't say uh, a boss is a lame duck because there are going to be elections. But he is in many ways. He's, he's you know close to a to a dead duck. Uh, and uh, if this was a reason for not making for a boss not making peace with uh, for not making peace with uh, with with, with Omar, you know, his term was going to, he was going to face elections. Um, it's certainly a reason not to rush into things uh, with, uh, with the boss. It's also probably a reason that no pressure can be put on him sufficient uh, for him to make any kind of deal, because he's thinking about his legacy uh, and so forth, uh, and uh, he does not want his legacy to be one of uh, concessions. How 